Good morning. Joe Biden, he wants to become the next US president. And now he's learning that things have changed. Things have gotten a bit crazy. Yeah, I'm going to tell you about this. Uh, first, I want to tell you about a BBC production. It's a soap called East Ender. Quite popular, apparently. I don't watch it. But I want to tell you about this. This is a character in the show. His name is Bobby Beale. And he murdered his sister some time ago. And now he's out of jail. And he's adapting to life on the outside. And uh, a recent episode showed this guy, Bobby, meeting with a friend, Imran. And he described how, you know, Bobby described how hard it's been to cope since his release. And this uh, concerned friend, Imran, hands him a package. And he, he opens it. Bobby opens the package when he comes home. And it's a copy of the Quran. In the coming weeks, Bobby starts to make peace with his violent past and deal with the difficulty of integrating back into the family and community by exploring his newfound faith. Speaking about the storyline, executive producer Jon Sen at the BBC said, We are thrilled to be working with support service Muslim Youth Helpline to challenge preconceptions and prejudices about the role of faith in young people's lives. Bobby's story will show how a young boy uses religion to help find peace. Yeah, and so on. All right. Uh, briefly, I want to tell you about Sweden. We have new statistics. Since 2016, robberies against minors have more than doubled. Also, reports of rape against both children and adults continue to increase. Yeah. So, I suppose they need to find some peace, these guys who are doing this. And now, about Joe Biden. This is hilarious, I think. Joe Biden wants to become the president, and he's now campaigning. And uh, sometimes when he speaks, he often says, Come on, man! <laughs> to emphasize, emphasize something. <laughs> and uh, this is not working very well. Not with the guys who are supposed to vote for him, apparently. Uh, and this is a New York Times opinion columnist, Charles Blow. He said uh, that Biden used a rhetorical device that men often use among themselves in locker rooms and barbershops to recognize, register and reinforce masculinity. <laughs> I can just imagine Joe Biden, reading, Joe Biden reading this from the New York Times. Yeah, things have gotten crazy in the last 10 years. And the Washington Post, they ran an entire article about Biden's use of this phrase, come on man, claiming that it can quickly signal dismissiveness, annoyance, sarcasm, or a certain willingness to use words that seem gendered, none of which are sure winners for a candidate trying to attract voters. Yeah. It's really absolutely mad. It is. Yeah. And we need to stay alert on this, you know, and we need to educate people just how, on just how crazy things have gotten in these Western societies. Sweden is a great example. It's absolutely insane in Sweden. And uh, now Denmark, you know, after this election in Denmark, uh, some Danish citizens said it's all fine. And now they are being betrayed by the socialists. And they sort of have to start all over again. Yeah. All right, that's all. Be good. Bye.